Well, Vice President Joe Biden visiting a key swing state where the president's poll numbers are falling. In Ohio, president's poll numbers about 49 percent right now. People hurting before the recession hit. The vice president appearing in Cincinnati today making the case for the White House's stimulus spending amid uh, reports of another stimulus plan that may be in the works. I get asked all the time, where's the money going? Is it doing any good? Well, one of the reasons we're here, stand here, look at this old building, American Cam building. Right now, it doesn't look like someplace anybody wants to live soon. But I tell you what, this can provide a heck of a lot of nice housing for local families. For a response to that, we're joined right now by the House Minority Whip, Eric Cantor. He's a Republican congressman from Virginia. Good, mo uh, good morning, Congressman. So what is your reaction to uh, Vice President Biden? He's out there in uh, Ohio. He's saying, basically, give this more time to kick in. Give the stimulus plan just a bit longer. Well, you know, I think clearly we're at the point now, about five months after the passage of the spending bill, uh, that the administration is realizing that it's not working. That, frankly, the stimulative effects that it w were intended have not come to fruition. And, in fact, promises were made that we wouldn't go over 8.5% unemployment. We know millions of people are losing their jobs. We're inching towards 10% unemployment. So now's not the time to start saying, hey, we, we need more of the same because we know it didn't work. And in fact, I know voters in Ohio, just like voters in my state, are now beginning to understand this economy uh, is owned by Barack Obama. Uh, this is uh, the prescription that the Obama administration brought forward in January. It was nearly $800 billion strong, and frankly, it hasn't worked. We all need to come together. We all need to begin to focus on the real path towards economic recovery, which is investment by small business. Okay, well, let me ask you about that small business. The Congressional Budget Office is estimating that about 11 percent of the stimulus will be spent by the end of this year. You have a proposal that would take the rest of the stimulus money that hasn't already been spent and funnel that to tax cuts or something for small businesses. Tell us about that. Well, I mean, absolutely. It just makes sense. We know that 70 percent of the jobs in, in our country come from small business people. That's how we grow the economy, through innovation and investment. We've got to go and say, look, enough of the Washington spending, enough of prescriptions coming out of Congress and the White House telling people and businesses what's best for them. We, we, we can't take any more of this. Mm -hmm. You know, th this, this notion that somehow this is where we wanted to end up after the spending bill that passed is, is ludicrous. But, Congressman, with we, all due respect, do, do you and your members actually think that you could get this, your proposal, through Congress? Well, listen, what, what we're trying to do is say we, we need to join together. There are, there are plenty of people on both sides of the political aisle who understand that the secret to the success of the American economic engine has been entrepreneurial investment. We've got to look to the small business people to, to get the confidence going again. That's why we want to provide them with tax breaks, with incentives to put their capital back to work so that people can start to realize some kind of economic security again. Oh, briefly, let me just ask you, par from... pardon me for interrupting, we're short on time. Let me just ask you about the prospects of a stimulus two plan. That's something that's been talked about a lot in Washington now. Uh, President Obama has said nothing is off the table. Could Republicans really stop that? Well, listen, first of all, saying economic uh, stimulus two indicates that perhaps we had a stimulus one. I think the position clearly now is what that spending bill was not stimulative. We've got a plan. The plan is focused on small business growth. It's focused on working families. It's focused on trying to get people back into the game, allow them to keep more of their money and put it to work for themselves and not wash it through Washington, uh, hoping to get some result, uh, which obviously has not come. All right. Congressman Eric Cannon, Republican from Virginia. Thank you so much. John.